Were you soliciting sex on the night you met the defendant? Not exactly soliciting. I was at a bar having a few drinks, and uh, he, the defendant, started flirting with me. It felt good. <laughs> I like when men notice me. You know, so used to being an athlete. It's nice to be noticed just as a woman. What, I, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, uh, I like the attention. We got a room. Okay. Did you tell him that he had to pay you to have sex with you? No. Uh, he just uh, assumed that was the deal. And I went along with it. So you got a room. What happened next? Um, we started having sex. Then he started getting rough. He started hitting me. I told him no. That I wanted him to stop. And that made him more aggressive. And then he started to do um, other things. Other things like what? I, um, I told him I didn't want to have anal sex. And he, uh, he started laughing. And then he, 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 he did it anyway. So you told him you absolutely did not want to have anal sex, but he did it anyway. Yes. And when he was done, he threw money at me. I didn't take it. I was, I was hurt. And I was, I was pleading. It's, I just ran out of the room. Eventually, the police um, picked me up and took me to the ER and then the SVU detectives. I, I told them what happened. And um, I'm ashamed about what I did, but I'm not ashamed that I was raped. And I want everyone to hear my story so this man can never hurt another woman again. Thank you. You didn't make it to Rio. Is it fair to say you were virtually unknown to the public before you falsely accused my client of this crime? Objection relevance. I'm getting to it, Your Honor. Get there quicker, Mr. Varma. Happy to. This is all just an elaborate publicity stunt, isn't it? Once my client outed you as a prostitute, your career was over. So you accused him of rape. And now you are hoping to capitalize on your newfound and sordid celebrity status. No, I would never want this kind of publicity. Everybody is talking about you. Everybody is looking at you, looking at your body. You just said you like being seen as a woman. You enjoy the attention. Yes, I do. And yet, despite all your hard work, you didn't qualify for the team. My jump was disqualified on a technicality. It was unfair. I'll be back four years from now in Tokyo. Four years from now when you're, what, 30? If you do qualify, if the governing body doesn't ban you for being a prostitute. But I suppose my real point here is your body is never going to look as good as it does right now. Objection? I, I, I would actually like to answer that. My body will look great four years from now. Better, because I work hard. Harder than you can imagine. Oh, for a change. I believe you there. I believe it is incredibly hard work. That's why you wanted to show it off on the night that you met Michael Wheeler. Objection badgering. I'm following a line of defense here, Your Honor. Overruled. Uh, witness may answer. Yes, I wanted to, to, to show off. And then he rejected you. He wasn't as impressed by your body as you wanted him to be. He said that you were too muscular, too masculine. And that's when you cried rape to get back at him. Objection. How dare you use, how dare you, who do you think you are? He said that he loved my body. Everyone tells me that they love my body. I am 5'9", 112 pounds. I bench press 150 Honor, pounds. I need a recess. I squat 225, Ms. 10 Miller, reps. What, my body what, is what are perfect. you doing? What, what, Your Honor, what? I need a Ms. recess Miller, immediately. Ms. Miller, what are you, what better than I need you some order? Order? Your Honor. Ms. Miller, cover yourself. Your Honor. They left. We're adjourned for the day. Screw you and your son of a bitch client. My body's perfect. I'm perfect. Perfect.